This morning, we finally have a bill. Late Sunday night, senators formally introduced the text of the bipartisan infrastructure bill. The $555 billion package includes more than $100 billion for roads and another $100 billion for rail and other public transit. Now the race is on to get it passed. Senators are set to leave for August recess in a week. Both sides are hoping to get it done by then. NBC's Leanne Caldwell is on Capitol Hill following the next steps. We're also joined by former RNC Chairman Michael Steele. Leanne, let me start with you. Take us through what's inside this bill and what the timeline looks like for getting it passed. Hey, Jose. Well, we finally received text of this legislation. This is a culmination of months of negotiations between a core group of five Republicans and five Democratic senators, and they finally released their bill late last night. Now, what is in this bill? It includes $110 billion for uh, roads and bridges and other major products. There's also $66 billion for passenger rail. There's $65 billion for broadband, $25 billion for airports, 55 billion for water infrastructure. So if if this passes the Senate and the House, you're going to see a whole lot of construction projects, everyone will, in their neighborhoods because this is the biggest reformation of the nation's infrastructure in generations and that's something that both sides are really hailing. Now, what looks what happens next? Well, the Senate's going to be debating this piece of legislation all week. There are going to be amendments offered by senators that could alter the legislation. But ultimately, Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer has said that he wants this passed out of the Senate by the end of the week. It's a pretty ambitious uh, timeline. But once it does pass, then, of course, it goes to the House of Representatives. Jose. Leanne, it's 2,700 pages. Uh, I think, I mean... Take them just a week to read it. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's a major bill, and it's a bill that touches every single aspect of people's lives. There's drinking water, wastewater. Um, there's provisions regarding Amtrak that actually restructure the mission of Amtrak so that they are not uh, their sole mission is not to appease Congress, but instead to ha appease its passengers and have good uh, service for its passengers. So there is a lot in this legislation legislation, including uh, the Alaska Highway uh, that needs to be refurbished. So every single member of Congress is going to get something that they want out of this legislation, Jose.